When I want to clean the rims on my uh, 2012 Gold Ring, Gold Wing, <clears throat> in the rear, I'll take the wheel dock and put it up against the uh, wheel of my car, and I put a piece of wood between that. <clears throat> And that'll just keep the wheel dock from twisting, if it ever should twist, since it's not anchored down to anything. Then I also just put a, a towel between the strap and uh, the wheel when I uh, lock it down. Then it's just a simple matter of putting my small jack underneath the uh, mount for the uh, shock and uh, just lifting it up then that allows me to uh, spin the wheel and clean that rear wheel very easily. And again, the reason I put that uh, wheel dock up against the wheel of my car is just to ensure that that front wheel doesn't spin on me and cause the bike to fall over. So with all that weight pushing up against the wheel of the car, that ensures that will not happen. And there you see where I put the jack to lift the bike. Now when it comes time to releasing the bike from the wheel chock in the front, what I've done is I've taken the uh, band off that holds it to the wheel dock and the front tire. Then I made up this arrangement of uh, two by material with a rubber piece that I found and I put that on both sides. Uh, where the little crash bar is back at the passenger foot uh, floorboard. So now <clears throat> when I go and release the mechanism to uh, that you see here on the back side of that tire, when I release that, I do this to minimize any chance of the bike wanting to tip side to side. Then I just get up on the bike and then I just kick those two out of the way and back it out. So here you see that I've released the tire chock, which is down now, not up against the tire. And so by doing that and having those uh, two blocks with the rubber on it, if I go side to side like this, the bike cannot tip over. And that's the purpose of that, to keep that until I get up on the bike and lessen any chance of this bike tipping over on me. It's always good to be 100% safe. Now to clean the front tire, I bought this roller item unit. Uh, yeah, it was from the Harley Davidson dealer years ago when I had Harleys. And you just drive up on it and these rollers, obviously they roll. So you just spin the tire as you go along and clean the wheel. You just spin the tire. I do. What I'll do is I'll start up in an area where it's uh, where it's easiest to get to first. Then I'll work my way up, stop there, then do the other side. Then as I spin it, I'll just make sure I bring that up, and then I'll just continue. About after about three three turns, the wheels uh, completely clean. Then of course when I'm doing this, I it's always easier just to check the air pressures. It's, I, I really want to make sure that the air pressures are always good. So. But anyways, that's how I do it to clean the wheels, and uh, it works pretty.